How do you start your day? What's your routine? What is the first thing you do each morning? Saints of God, our answer to these questions should be related to spending time with God. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm trying, and I'm working to discipline myself and get my priorities in check so that I begin my day on my knees. I want that to become a habit. I want it to become a part of my routine so that when I wake up, I put God first. So in the morning, give me Jesus. Before I plan my day, before I check my phone, give me Jesus. Before I start thinking and checking my emails, give me Jesus. I encourage you, saints, to start your day with a simple prayer. A prayer of thanks. A prayer of praise. A prayer to commit the day into the Lord's hands. It doesn't have to be complicated or extravagant. It should only be sincere. Acknowledge God every morning. Before your attention becomes divided and you have to focus on work, your schedule, the kids, or anything else, before you get going for the day, acknowledge God, praise God, thank Him, adore Him, and love Him. And I would like to share just a few reasons why you should be seeking the Lord each morning. Psalms 18 verse 2 says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I love that. My God is my rock. This is to say that He is steady ground. There is no instability. There is no wavering about with Jesus. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is unchanging. He is solid and consistent. He can't be moved or swayed, and so my trust is in Him. Because I, as a man, can change, but He is unchanging. I, as a man, can be shaken, but He is unshakable. And so I need to seek my rock every morning. This psalm goes further to say, my fortress. This means he is my unfailing spiritual support. The one I confide in. A shelter when the storms of life come. A safe place when the devil attacks. God is my shelter. He is my deliverer. The one who is able to completely remove me from a dark place. He is my deliverer. The one who can snatch me out of the devil's hands. He is my deliverer. The one who can pull me out of a situation that's painful and overwhelming. He is my deliverer. There are so many reasons why you should be seeking God first in the morning before anything else. Now let us pray. King Jesus, your word describes you as wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. I praise you, O Lord, because you are my strength. I declare that the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. You are the one in whom I take refuge. You are my shield and the horn of my salvation. When I feel a heavy weight bringing me down, you are my rescue and you lift me up, Jesus. When I feel burdened or overwhelmed, I am grateful that I can cast my burdens on you. 
you offer rest and freedom in your arms. Lord, I know that whenever I am tired or exhausted, I know that I can wait on you because you will renew my strength. When I find myself incapable of moving forward, I trust you to part the Red Sea in front of me. I trust you to bring down the walls of Jericho that surround me. I trust you to speak the words, peace, be still, to any storm that troubles me. And so I praise you. Lord, if I find myself worried about the future and how things will work out, I will hold on to your word which tells me to be anxious for nothing. And so I will be obedient and be anxious about nothing. I have no cause for fear, no cause for stress or unrest, because you, Lord Jesus, are my rock. You are my refuge and my stronghold. Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. I pray for peace and direction in our lives. I pray that you give us the strength to stand strong and unwavering in faith despite any challenges or trials we may face. May the Holy Spirit help us to walk by faith and not by sight. Help us to walk in the authority you have given us in your word. Help us to walk in the freedom that you have given us. We look to you, Lord, and continue to trust you. A mighty God who moves mountains. A God who breaks down every barrier. And we have confidence that regardless of the things happening around us, regardless of the things going on in this world, you are still in control. You are still on your throne and you are still a good God who will never leave us nor forsake us. At this time, I pray for all those who are in a hard place. Though we may not understand everything going on, I pray that even in the middle of these present uncertain times, you are still a God who makes a way when there seems to be no way. Your word says, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. We believe this. We believe that nothing, no evil, no darkness shall come near us as your children. I praise your holy name and say that you are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the Alpha and Omega. All of our cares and worries, we cast them unto you today. I surrender it all to you because you are a sovereign God who neither sleeps nor slumbers. I pray, Lord, that in every situation I face, may I always have confidence from the knowledge that you are in control. You are God above all. The God who is above every principality, above every evil ruler. You sit high on the throne, Lord Jesus, with all power and might. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. May you deliver me from all of my struggles. Deliver me from every stronghold, everything that seeks to stop my spiritual growth. Deliver me emotionally, physically, and spiritually from all of the enemy's attacks. You are a sovereign God who has assigned heavenly angels to protect and have charge over our lives. You are a God who is faithful to deliver those who trust you, the only one who can calm my heart. 
protect my peace of mind, Jesus. Protect the peace within my soul, Lord. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Amen.